this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of March 9th, 2024. Here are some upcoming events. March 12th through 14th is our fifth grade safety patrol trip to St. Augustine. We can't wait to hear all about this great experience. Thursday, March 14th is an elementary ESOL parent meeting at 8.30 a.m. On Friday, March 15th, the fifth graders will explore our secondary campus to see all the great opportunities PBMA Middle School has to offer. March 16th through March 25th is spring break. Students return to school on Tuesday, March 26th. March 26th is elementary class picture day. Class pictures are taken in uniform. March 29th is a spring holiday and there is no school. Please note the new date for Astro Skate Night. Astro Skate Night will be on Thursday, April 4th at 5.30 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. This is due to a scheduling conflict with the rink. Admission is $11 per person and includes skates, a bounce house, and colored hairspray. Astro Skateway is located at 3100 Jog Road in Green Acres. Saturday, April 6th will be our next open house for students new to PBMA. 10 o'clock a.m. for the elementary campus and 11 o'clock a.m. at the secondary campus. This is a great chance for incoming kindergartners to see the elementary school and for fifth graders to tour our middle school. Kindergarten Roundup is an important orientation for incoming kindergarten students. This will be held on Thursday, April 18th at 5.30 p.m. Here's a word from our administration. Greetings, PBMA family and friends. Just a few quick, friendly reminders. We are in the process of doing our FSA retakes and this will be completed on the 8th. FSA retakes cover Algebra 1, Geometry, U.S. History, and FSA Reading and Writing for our seniors. This Saturday, our seniors will also be participating in the SAT. Seniors, please be reminded this is a digital exam. Make sure you go onto the practice site so you are comfortable with the digital test. We have begun to release Yonder. Look over Yonder. What exactly is Yonder? Yonder is a new program that we are bringing to PBMA. Our cell phone policy is still the same. Students must keep their phones on silent, vibrate, or on airplane mode. However, since students are tempted to use their phones during class time, and this is affecting their test scores as well as their social interactions, we are incorporating Yonder pouches. Students will put all electronic devices inside the Yonder pouches, have them locked at a specific location, but keep the pouches with all of their devices on their person. We appreciate your support, parents. We understand this is brand new, but this is definitely for the educational benefit of your student. Thank you so much for being a part of the PBMA family. And now it's time to dive in with Andropa and meet the Shark Crew. Hi everyone, this week we're at the elementary campus again and I have Miss Byrne with me who is the fourth grade team lead. Welcome Miss Byrne. Thank you. How's the year going so far? It's been a great year so far. Very good. Anything that stands out um, that you guys are working on or you did, you accomplished um, that you want to share? Uh, well, I teach math so we're working a lot on our fractions right now getting ready for the fast assessment. Very good. All right, I'm just going to turn it over to Miss Byrne and let her introduce her team. Thank you. We have our ELA teachers, Mr. W and Mr. O, and our newest member of the team this year is Doc, and he also teaches math and science. Hi, guys. How are you? All right. <laughs> Good to see you. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Ms. Byrne and team. And I forgot to mention when I first introduced Ms. Byrne, she's been with us for 12 years, right? That's right. Well, congratulations on your 12th year anniversary. See you next week for another Dive In with Andropont and Meet the Shark Crew. This week in the Miss Terciero Media Center, the older students are continuing their study of the Iditarod. By this time next week, this should be a winner. The younger students read a book called The Good Egg. It is about an egg that is, you guessed it, good. In the story, he learns how to deal with his big emotions. 
Let's take a look at what's happening in our STEM and maritime classes. In maritime science, fourth graders are learning about the rock cycle. They are modeling how a rock goes from sedimentary to metamorphic to igneous rocks using starbursts. Fifth graders are learning about physical and chemical changes. They are conducting simple experiments to demonstrate how to tell a chemical change has happened, such as cracking glow sticks. This week in STEM's grade three to five will be learning about designing different solutions to slow down or prevent wind from changing the shape of land. They are trying to find solutions to beach erosion. In grades K to two STEM, they will be using train tracks to model erosion and weathering. Let's take a look at what's happening in elementary art. Hey, PBMA, Ms. Fisher here with what's going on in art in elementary school. So as you can see behind me, we have been making African masks and do, helping out Miss Robinson doing the backdrop for our Lion King production coming up in April. So keep an eye out for all of our cool artwork that we've been making that's regarding Africa. We've also been talking about Alma Woodsy Thomas, an African-American artist famous for becoming the first woman to go into a museum, the first African-American woman to be uh, portrayed in the White House. So we've been doing a lot of artwork and painting. So ask your children about the Alma Woodsy Thomas and check out these cool drawings that they've been working on. One more thing, safety patrols. Next week, we are going to St. Augustine, so make sure you are on time on Tuesday morning at 545, or we will leave without you. We're looking forward to checking out St. Augustine and also going to Universal Studios, so we'll see you guys when we get back, and hopefully we'll have a great time. So that's all for art. You guys have a great day. See you soon. Kindergarten celebrated Dr. Seuss's birthday by participating in lots of fun activities, such as making yummy cat in the hats out of strawberries, bananas, and Oreos. They made paper cat in the hat hats and completed rhyming worksheets. Students also read outside to their plush reading buddies. Our Girls on the Run team completed the inspirational 5K run on Saturday at Florida Atlantic University. Their determination to never give up and finish the race was shown throughout the 3.2 mile run. We are so proud of these special girls and their running buddies. They represented our school with pride and a whole lot of laughter and fun. Tuesday, our basketball sharks lost the semifinal game, 29 to 23. Boys basketball, though, finished the season with an impressive 12 wins and four losses. Girls soccer just finished their season with a really good record, three wins, two losses, and three draws. Our seventh grade students visited the Grassy Water Nature Preserve. They embarked on a swamp tromp where they hiked through the Everglades, learned about our natural environment, native species, and how the original inhabitants of Florida used the local plants as medicine, food, and to build shelter. Then they went dip netting where they collected and observed marsh creatures that survive in water and mud that make up our ecosystem. Students learned how these animals survive and how pollution changes the water levels. Please like Palm Beach Maritime on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll always be informed of the newest information. I'm Mrs. Cooper and this is Leo. Thanks for watching, and remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.